Episode 258. Oh boy. Oh god. Okay. So today we're reviewing Dear Evan Hansen. I blame you. <laughs> Honestly. You I was should. fully content I to just let you this one go. To um I forced myself to watch this and regretted it. And then I thought I have to yell at this into the void about this with someone who better andrew you have to watch this movie so we can yell into the void about this together because fuck is the movie oh boy <laughs> oh boy wait i like this uh, have we said that before fuckest thou movie no i just i just made that up just now <laughs> I really like it. It's fun, right? I feel like that's what uh, Bette Midler, um, the Sanderson sisters would say. Fuckest thou movie. Oh. I mean, they wouldn't say it because it's a Disney movie, but yes. you know what I mean. I'm not like that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> it's a little witch hat and it says, fuckest thou movie. Sure. That's fun. Very specific niche, but I, you know. Maybe it's just on, on a scroll. Anyway, we'll talk to Rick. It'll anyway. Be great. Yes. First things first, shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties. Second things second, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Go to trywink.com slash moviebitches and you will get $22 off. Maybe enough wine to make it through this movie? I don't know. I don't, don't know. know. I'm going to go ahead and say don't watch this. I mean, watch this. Nope. You can go ahead and watch this video. That's cool. Don't watch this yeah. movie. I only nope. made Andrew watch it so we could be angry together. Do not watch this film. It is very bad. Very, very bad. Well, you know what's frustrating about this <laughs> film to me? And this is why I didn't really want to watch it. I was on board for a, you know, Cats-esque level of, of Nonsense. failure. Yeah. You oh, know, yeah. miscast, poor CGI, de-aging, you know, lots of boxes to yeah. check. Of, oh, yeah. That was a mistake. But the problem is, I saw this show on off Broadway in LA, and I hated it. I said, "Well, this is cringy and irredeemable, and I'm like, not. It's not good writing, and it's just all platitudes." I think no. I texted you and I said, "This movie should just be called Empty Platitudes." That was just like, honestly, dear Empty Platitude. The songs too, the music. I've decided that I just really really dislike Pasek and Paul. I don't like them. No. I, don't. I mean, what else did they do? Greatest Showman, which I did not like the movie or the music, and this. What else did they do? Oh, did they do La La Land? Oh, I hate them. That's cool. <laughs> Good for you. I mean, you know, like, they're. it's not for me. Not I for actively me. do not like that. Yeah, that's, wow. Well, I will say, if you're gonna watch a review of Dear Evan Hansen, probably just go watch Jenny Nicholson's. No, but yes, but oh. seriously, hers is amazing. And she mashed up the, whatever that generic song about, this is me, this is us. Yep. I am me. <laughs> when I die to tell, I drown you out. <laughs> this is me. Whatever this it is. is. Yeah, miss it, yeah. But we don't have to feel unknown. Oh my God. <laughs> It's and, the same. And this one, yeah. you're not alone or whatever. I am found. It's the you are same seen. Exactly the, I'm found. Yeah. You're not alone. Empty platitudes. Empty platitudes. It's just... And repetition. Oh my God. The songs were just... There isn't another truck. Truck, 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 a truck. <laughs> oh my God. The way she kept saying There's truck. no more truck. There won't be another truck. Like, <laughs> what's going on though? Like, what has happened. Also, Julianne Moore, why are you in this movie? What's going on? I liked her and I think she was maybe my favorite part of the movie because oh, she could act. She wasn't bad, but why, what are you doing? Why is she, what, what are you doing in this movie? Her and Amy Adams again in a, a movie where you're like, what are you guys doing? Yeah. But, you know. Maybe they're kids like the musical or something. That seems, that seems right. Oh, right. But so anyway, so this, this, this play turned musical, like there was no adaptation of the show that I would have liked because I didn't like the show. Yeah, I didn't know the plot. I did not see it on Broadway or off. Do not care for this convoluted, problematic plot. Regardless Correct. of the Ben Platt of it all, and he's too old right. and he has pancake makeup on and his wig is crazy and they didn't... Is that it his wasn't a wig. Oh no. Oh no. 
We'll get there. We'll talk about it. Regardless of the Ben plot of it all. Yes. This doesn't work. No. As a, it just, it's, it's no good. It's no good. So the basic plot is yeah. convoluted. Evan Hansen, played by Ben Platt, is a anxious and depressed teenager who is going to therapy and his therapist says to write himself a letter, giving himself a yep. pep talk. And yep. accidentally, he prints it at school. Seemed real weird. Yep. Did that. that was like the biggest like... What? Why would you ever he wrote do it, that? He wrote it and printed it at school. No. And I was like, is this because he needs to give it to his therapist later after He school? needs a hard copy? What are we doing? Right? I'm like, can what he just like, is email it? it? What year is it? But anyway, I was just like, when he just like went to hit the print button, I was like, what are we doing? Anyway, a different kid who has anger issues and mental health issues unclear honestly unclear mm -hmm. takes the note through happenstance because ben platt likes his sister and then subsequently off screen that anger angry character kills himself and they mistake the letter that evan hansen wrote right. to himself this is so stupid as a letter from connor to him as a suicide and, note yeah and then and they think that they were friends yeah they think that they were friends and then in a hilarious you know, rom-com trope, he goes along with the lie and right. inserts himself into the family of the teenager who has killed himself. The movie really yeah. does not give enough weight to this. Nope. Because he likes the sister and lies to them and uh, other stuff happens. But dear God, th that's the, the base level. Like, how do they pitch this? What's the shorter version of this pitch? I don't know. Right. Where I the, don't know. Where yeah, the what's MacGuffin the elevator pitch for this? Isn't a MacGuffin. You know what I mean? Like the, the letter should be just a MacGuffin that no one cares about, but it turns out it's a huge, complicated boulder rolling towards, you know, the inevitable end and it's yeah. a mess. And then somehow also becomes a problem later on. Why does everyone hate the parents after that letter comes out? Oh, when they I get canceled confused. for, if you're going to watch any scene of this movie, his singing mess up speech going viral montage was... The funniest, most confusingly edited, tonally bizarre. Oh my god. Everybody needs to see this. I can't stop watching this video. 17 years old. <laughs> I lost my mind. Oh, we'll get there, I guess. Or should we talk about Also, it that was lifted straight from the play. No. Like the whole visuals of like all of that. No. And then it comes out to be Connor's face. No. Straight from the show. Where they love actually out to reveal yeah. a suicide victim's face yeah. wow they projected that all over the stage no. and if i remember correctly no. there was a lot of like digital projection of like texting or like what like that was like a Ooh. visually it was digital communication between people represented physically like projected on the stage it was a lot i didn't care for it i really hate this show i just don't i don't care for it and I think what's frustrating for me is that I love the idea of the message of high school can be tough, right? A lot of oh, people sure. feel alienated or alone or like they don't have friends or like they, you know, they have a lot of, you know, depression and things and anxieties and like all of that's real. And like the conversation between him and the the student body leader girl. Oh my God. Ashley, that that the movie whatever, like hated. Was, hated her. The movie they hated was her. so cynical about Alana. The like, I'm... Yeah. do good or whatever the movie was so um hateful of the generation it was trying to portray oh, bobcats so awesome so awesome everyone phenomenal really you know what's not phenomenal deforestation but you know what's not great deforestation and everyone's like wah, wah. and i'm like so is the joke that she's like too much and we hate her because she's like a Debbie Downer or is but deforestation so. isn't funny. What what? What are you telling me? I mean it'd be nice. I think it was supposed to be a pep rally is not where you talk about deforestation. Okay. But, but also she had the mic, so good for her. I just didn't know this doesn't work, right? It just doesn't work on a no. on a base level. The, but the only way it could be better is one of two things. Lean into the cynicism and go the Heather's route, right? And like, sure, yes. Be cynical and fucked up and really 
yeah. sharp tongued and oof, we are dealing with this stuff. But that's how teenagers deal with stuff. They've got a dark humor. Lean that way. Or you have to be even more sincere and probably cast right. Sandra Bullock as your lead, I think is the only way maybe that... Because I was thinking about while you were sleeping a lot during this movie and why that sure. movie works. Number one reason, Sandra Bullock. Also, they're not children. Uh, no one has died yes. at their own hand. Um, <laughs> or also, period. He's in a period. coma, which is like serious. No one but, has died, period. Know. But also, yeah. when yeah. you add in suicide, whoa, that brings a whole nother level to things. Yep. And also, the Sandra Bullock of it all is really... I mean... I don't know if there's someone who could make this really work. By the end, are you supposed to relate to Evan Hansen? I didn't. <laughs> no. I think the biggest problem of it is the Kickstarter oh, orchard Is that in nonsense. the movie? I mean, is that in the play? In the show? Yeah. This orchard. Okay. I don't understand this at all. At all. First of all, w did they buy the land? No. If the trees are still there and alive, then why do you need $100,000 to reestablish this orchard? It's already there. It's, it's a fucking orchard. Bring Wi-Fi to the orchard? I don't know. I don't know. I was like, where is this money going? I'm confused. We got to bring yeah. back the orchard. It's been closed down for years. Okay, so like we need to hire a groundskeeper and like get some fertilizer up in here? I don't know. I mean, I know trees are expensive, but like what exactly has happened? They didn't like build a community center for youth outreach on the orchard or near the orchard. Um, or maybe they did because there were all of those kids like in kind of it was like outdoor benches, outfits, right? You know, Habitat for Humanity, but it's plants because deforestation. Don't joke about that. I don't know. Was that part of it? Was it like we had to plant more trees and we're solving all of the world's problems by curing our depression by running an orchard? I don't know. I but mean, you know, vitamin D becomes... is helpful for moods, but I don't think that was yes. the point of the movie. Um... It, it was not the point of the movie. And it was weird where you're like, okay, all of this is predicated on a lie and yeah. you are now having like a seemingly global digital platform oh my God. where you're asking people to donate $100,000 right. for like, what are we doing? Like his mom might be liable, like on the hook for this, honestly. You know what I mean? Cause honestly. like he's, well, I mean, he is not a child, but like he's a child in the movie. So yeah. like he wouldn't be, you know. He can't be yeah. held accountable for his actions, right? That's what the movie's trying to tell you, which is compounded even more by the fact that Ben Platt looks older than... I decided he looks he looks like Fred Armisen. Yeah. And Rick Moranis. Yes, very that. Merged together, neither of whom are young or look young. Maybe if they'd given him glasses, would it have helped? Maybe? Maybe. I think just cast someone else. You know, you had a great run. You you were in the show. You nailed it, Ben Platt. We'll always remember your performance and your Tony award-winning. You can show up you know, as like the teacher that's heading up the orchard program as a cameo. Oh, hey, he's sure. there. Yeah, you know. There you go. Sure. Lovely. Even if should have handed over the baton. Even if he played Connor because he's in so few scenes. I mean. Not here for it, but you know what I mean? Something. I actually thought the guy that played Connor and that number best. was the best. Well, simultaneously the best because it was like musically exciting and fun things were happening, but also I hated it. Also, all of the no homo jokes was like so much. And that was in the show too. And I was like, what? I mean, they think you're lovers. You realize that, right? Oh my God. In the play, that character, the friend, is straight. Yes. And so all right. the no homo jokes are just no homo jokes. Are even worse. And then in, I don't know if it's worse, in this, he's like a self-hating no homo? They're like, we'll just make yeah. him a, we'll make him a homosexual so his no homo jokes aren't offensive. And I was like, I don't think that's how that works, guys. Uh, pretty sure that doesn't just put a bandaid on that issue. Your average kind of fun, but not because they're gay. But I guess you didn't sure. want to rewrite it and update this for 2021. It was just so weird because they put so much makeup on Ben Platt. Like the first scene is like close-ups on his pores with the pancake makeup. And I'm like, yep. it got to a point where you're like, is this 21 Jump Street, is he a narc? What's going on? Yes. 
like how do you do, fellow kids? Why? You know, it's, very you know, <laughs> it's weird. And there was something I was reading where because everyone was giving him shit and being like, "You're too old," blah 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 blah. And he responded and was like, "It's not that big a deal. It's just like how everyone in Greece was old." And I was like, "Yeah, but everyone in Greece was old." Right. Exactly. <laughs> so it didn't seem as weird where you have the one main character who's lying to everyone. And also, and the subject matter of Greece is sexual and this, this is, is not really you know this is just the whole time i was just like Ugh, yeah I'm in fact it almost makes it worse i think when you like when it's like a grown adult making these decisions and he was just his acting and oh my god the way that he runs away it was it also was, much it, it was, was um <sighs> he was acting for the stage you know it was very that yes. and everything but no one else was <laughs> nobody else got the memo and he was just projecting and everything was at an 11 and he's hunching and he's really thin but his head is the same size because he's an adult it's odd it's very yeah. odd it was like almost two hours into the movie and i was like who is evan hansen right what is he like does he have interests does trees. he i don't know i guess trees and zoe um yeah that's about it. That's all we know. I don't know. Wow. It's not really a main character you want to get to know or follow over the course of a two plus hour musical. But again, going back to the Sandra Bullockness of it and like the while you were sleeping of it all. Because when you think about it, the first two thirds ish maybe of this show movie are essentially the plot of while you were sleeping, right? Yeah. A little lie grows really big and, yeah. and now I don't know how to get myself out of it. Yeah. You know, I just wanted to feel loved and now I feel so loved and it, I don't want to lose that, but like it was based on a lie, but does it matter? Again, in this case, someone has died. Yes. More problematic. And then rather than just taking it to, and then we fell in love in it all, it goes into, and then we started a Kickstarter in this orchard and this legacy and there's all of these fake emails that are being shared around oh the also, world. Also, you've, and... you've completely tainted my memory of my brother and used him as a puppet for, literally. That's why that number literally. was so uncomfortable when he's like dancing yes. and happy. I was like, he's your literal puppet. This is like, yeah. and we both reached bow with a gun. You know, it was just, it was very that. Yeah. And I was just so incredibly upset the whole time because they're just making up all this yeah. stuff about this person who has no say. And he can yeah. never have a say. I rub my nipples and start moaning with delight. Why would you write that? I'm just trying to make it erotic. Look, if you can't take this seriously, oh, to calm yourself, honey. Ugh. At least if he was in a coma, he could wake up and be like, what are you talking about? I don't like go-karting or whatever the fuck they were doing in that number. It is. That, that email. whole puppetry email, Ooh. putting words in, his, in a dead boy's mouth. Well, Ooh. and, the, and the, the fact that Amy Adams asked to see private emails, like... You easily could have just been like, you know what? That's yeah. weird. It's private. I don't think Connor would appreciate that. There's nothing in there sure. that's like indicating of why right. he did this. It was just between yeah. us and I would like it to stay that way. And if she really had a problem with that, that's on her. There was way, there was so much privacy invasion going on. Yeah. Yeah. He set up different accounts, ones we couldn't find. He knew he read his emails. Well, if you did have any emails or conversations between the two of you we'd love to see anything it was really freaking me out but okay like nitpick i get it but we're, while we're talking about the whole printing of the letter and all who writes an email to someone's full name that they know that they're friends with dear evan hansen that's what we're working with like the title of the musical slash movie is wrong it doesn't make sense <laughs> right. right. Let me address this to your full name, friend. No one's doing that. And they did it when they were doing the puppeteering. It was always like, dear Evan Hansen. You know what I mean? And it, just, right. it just really made me laugh. Oh, but I was going to say a long time ago, I was talking about like the way that this movie treats depression and anxiety yeah. and all of those things. And I hate it. And it's the same thing with fucking Greatest Showman where you're like, oh, representation yay the outsiders it's the lowest Ooh, isn't this, bar of that it's just the lowest bar of that you it's know. like we talked about it but we didn't actually it's almost a disservice to yeah. you know well for me to, like it's like um it's just text there's nothing right. to connect you to it literally it's like 
Aren't you depressed? I am as well. You are seen, friend. I feel found, friend. Like it's literally just like, okay, I guess that solved the world's problems. We could have connected over like liking mutual things or having a sure. good time together. No, everything was a lie. Yeah. And it's just so bizarre. Because it's all just surface level. There's no depth. There's no character building. There's no humanity to it's, it. It's, it's bafflingly just... shallow. The entire show is bafflingly shallow. <laughs> I don't care oh. for it. I mean, because the music, I mean, first of all, too much Evan Hansen. Um, I don't know if that's how oh. the play was. But it's the, in... They did change it around. And, like, it doesn't start with him and his little song. I don't remember exactly. I don't think it starts with just, like, right into it. But it was so much. The first half of it is just him singing. And then, like. Singing? I've learned to slam on the brake. I'm sorry. Well, there, was, there was a lot of no confidence whiny whispering falsetto-y it felt like he was almost yodeling like like jewel like who will save your soul you know it was like going in these weird yeah, places he does do a lot of vibrato yeah i mean he can sing but i did not like it um i'm sorry i did, no. I did not no. care for it and they all started the same i'm gonna say a whisper end of may or early june have you ever felt like so i just stand here sorry this was just a sad invention today i, I have no confidence and i'm sad and then it, it builds to him actually singing but it all started in this really creepy way that you and I could, I kept waiting for it to be like wait is he actually singing is this in his head because there'd be people talking right. Like the first time he's singing, his mom is in the car and he's, she's talking away and he's singing to himself. Yeah. We start believing that we belong. So is this his coping mechanism? Is it on his head? Is it not in his head? What's happening? I just need right. more clarity because this show is really serious, really self-serious. So I feel like I right. need to know what's happening because it's weird. Yeah. Is he singing in his own head to himself and ignoring her? Is this just a, a song and this is now a montage? Right. Uh, uh, like you know, and I like he's at the dinner table, and then he gets up, and he's just standing and singing to them, and you're like, "Is this happening, or, or is, is this he in just, his head? Is he standing and saying these things and not singing them? But then sometimes they're it, talking over him, and right. I just want to like if you if you watch the opening number to this, and then you watch after today from Goofy Movie, it's just like, oh, that's how you do it. I wish that this was the day. After today. Oh, I'm connected with Max. I love him. This is amazing. I understand his plight. Oh, he's an outsider looking in. Oh, I can yep. rooting for that 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 little guy. Yeah. And then this, it was like, oh boy. And that movie too, based on a lie. Oh, I have got these sure. concert tickets and blah 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 blah. I mean, that's most rom coms, right? But most rom coms don't have the suicide of your brother as the main plot point. You know what I mean? Like, whoa. It, you can't do whoa. it. You have to go full cynical. Or completely serious. Right. You cannot, right. it just like, it just doesn't work. So whenever right. they tried yeah. to insert the littlest bit of like a joke or a funny thing, you were just like, Ugh. <laughs> Well, and that was what's weird too. That's so frustrating about this, going back to the concept of the way that they treat his mental illness is that it's like, they don't actually really grieve. There's not a lot of grieving. And so, he no. feels supposedly compelled to lie to them so that they can like their dead son. You refuse to remember any of the good things. Because there were no good things. Right. So he, Connor seems to be, I guess, an addict because at some point they talk about recovery, him going to recovery. Right. Which isn't really a thing you do for depression. Not I guess really. maybe it's recovery from his previous suicide attempt. It's really Perhaps. vague. And like, yes. I think this movie should be called Dear Connor, last name here, I don't remember. The movie should be about him and actually sure. him and not yeah. puppeteered weird version of him via Evan Hansen and his no homo friend. Has been hard, hard. has been bad, bad, has been rough. Kinky. Stop. Part of the point was that you're supposed to want him to have like found these connections of family with the, the, the whoever Connor's family is. Right, but, but I, I thought... never really felt much of that. I didn't feel connection at all because he never actually shares with them any of his true yeah. feelings. Everything is a lie. There's that trope in movies of like, well, I told this one lie, 
but everything else, everything we talked about, every, all of my falling in love with you, all of it was was right. me. It was true. It just we happened to right. meet on this lie, right? And so right. that's kind of like, oh, we forgive you. It's a movie. But this, everything was a lie. Every yeah. single thing. Again, like you said, tainted the memory. Like you lied to me about all of this shit about my brother oh my that God. never happened. Whenever you have uh, a solo, the way that you smile, it's sort of like you are. You're letting us in on the secret. That whole song where, cause she's like, oh, I didn't, I don't think my brother knew me at all or whatever. Yeah. And then he sings her a, this a love is why, song. This is why I love you song via the context that it's from her dead brother. And you're like, so you're, my brother was in love with me. Like by the end of that song, she should have been like, ooh, it seems like my brother was having impure thoughts about me. That's really <laughs> weird. If I could tell her, So bizarre. I just oh, it was I hate absolutely. It. I hate it. it was absolutely. Uh, and I don't care if you're bilingual speech. And I love the way your hair smells. And I, I love it that sometimes for no reason you're late for shul. And I don't care that you're bow legged. And I don't care that you're bilingual. Like it was the like. And this is it was the the New Year's Eve speech in, when Harry met Sally. It was you know I love it when your right. your head crinkles because you think I'm crazy. I love that you get cold when it's 71 degrees out. I love that it takes you an hour and a half to order a sandwich. I love that you get a little crinkle above your nose when you're looking at me like I'm nuts. It was 100% that in song, yep. but yep. via the feelings of her dead brother that is alive from the boy slash man child that she likes, question mark? Yeah. He thought it looked pretty cool when you put indigo streaks in your hair. Didn't yeah, get that. question mark. Very, Did not get very the, weird. the connection between no, them. No, I didn't really get it either. And then it's like, it oh, we're weird. in love. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, we are, but not really, because he lied to me. Oh, about my I'm brother. wearing a wedding dress to the prom because weird. I don't know. Isn't that weird? She like fully just wore yeah. a wedding dress to the prom. Thought it was really weird, and I didn't know if that sure. stuff was happening or if it was in his head. Did sure. that happen? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, right. But but to go back to the music. Oh. I so they all they they all start with a soft spoken talking, it's and then they keep song talking a little this. bit more. And then they'll find the one phrase that they repeat over and over you and are over found. and over. You Do you are ever found. really repeat the same line ever? Do you ever really repeat the same line ever? Do you ever there really repeat the truck. same line ever? There isn't it's another just like, truck. Oh my god. It was awful. It was like it was like Jack is gonna row his boat ashore in a round. Of, exactly. You know what I mean? What's that song? Yeah. Yeah. If you're falling through a forest, are you ever really found? And then it, she had hers where it's like, if you're carrying all these things, but you still have the weight or whatever it was, you know, I was just like, oh, oh my God, became, we get it. When she became suicidal suddenly? I didn't understand that. You're not the monster. When she was driving her car yeah. and I was like, now she's suicidal? What's going on? Oh, I didn't, right. I didn't yes. get that, like why that was happening to her character. I was like, oh no, I, what? Uh. Very often at the end of most of the songs or the scenes, it was as if they didn't know what to do. And so they would just cut back to the establishing shot of the house as if to of say, the house. this episode of Golden Girls is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Mm -hmm. I was like, what's this now? What's going on? Okay. Maybe I wish I was watching the Golden Girls. Honestly, what's going on? It was so bizarre. Oh. It's gonna get better, I promise. Well, because everyone in this world is a terrible asshole. You know? We couldn't no. even give him a friend that was his friend, right? The the no homo friend. I'm sorry, but that's just his character. Repeatedly tells him. We're just family friends, thanks. Leave me alone, I hate you. Right. Like the whole movie, he's like, fuck off. I'm only talking to you because we're fa our, pa our moms are friends. Would you want to sign my cast? Uh, you, could, you could be the first. Why would I do that? Because we're friends and we're family friends, Evan. That's an entirely different thing. Please respect that. And so you're like, right. oh, okay, I guess, well, I don't like Kevin or I don't remember what his name was, but um, that, sure. that guy, I don't like him. No homo kid. Don't like him. You know, he doesn't have one friend, which happens and is sad, but maybe he has online friends. Maybe he has some interest that he can put something into. You know, maybe he likes musical theater. That's why he breaks into song all the time. I needed something. I don't know who Evan Hansen something. is. I don't know. Nope. 
I don't know who really any of them are. No. Except that Zoe owns four guitars in her bedroom. I thought I did not yes. care for the production design at all. It was lacy. Oh no. It was so lazy. It was. His bedroom, Connor's bedroom, it just has like generic science posters. And then there's like a punching I bag think I right next I I needed to look at something. I was really fucking bored. There's like a punching bag right next to his nightstand so you could really only punch it from one side and i was like well what's this though huh didn't care for it did not can we talk about the hideous stonework in their dining room and living room oh i was like oh no <laughs> that would have been funny if you know because the whole thing was that like oh mom she's too rich and has doesn't have a job so all she does right. is yeah try things if they'd been like oh that was when mom tried to be an interior designer Bleh. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, sure, but no, that would involve some sort of personality. So, no, sorry, can't do that. Well, and Julianne Moore didn't have any personality. It was just, oh, she works a lot. She's a nurse. She works a lot. There's no humanity. Even the the connections that they make are just from this lie and this one speech, I guess, of like, oh, can we you talk are about, not alone. So, this? well, he said it. Can so we talk there about we go. This? Oh my god! So they do. I mean, because the whole thing is so cynical, right? Nobody gives a shit that Connor right. killed himself until they can make it into a Kickstarter, right? And right. until Evan lies about, I, I guess? Them did, having a day at the fucking oh orchard? One, we had that one beautiful day at the orchard. But like, does the school know about the emails? Were they published publicly at some point? Because I feel like that is a crazy, huge invasion of privacy. This is all we found with him. He had it folded up in his pocket. The idea that the school would just be like, oh, the parents want to talk to you. No. Nope. Not like, hey, we need to tell you something. We have this right? counselor here. You're, we, I mean, they assume that he was his only friend. Yeah. And they're going to be like, you, and this also, is the letter that we found. No one's there. No counseling. Nothing. No nothing. What are nothing. we talking about? We're going to let the parents tell you about how their son died. No, inappropriate. Inappropriate. Yeah. There should absolutely be a counselor there. There should be... It could like, have been Ben counseling. Pat. You know, hey, guys, <laughs> I'm the counselor. Right. But then the show would have to be written well, so that's not, you know... Right. It would have been one thing that would have been better. But no, they throw this assembly for Connor, and Ben Platt's going to give a speech, and he's really bad, and the mic... Well, his no homo friend does him dirty because he's doing the sound, and the mic is all like... Rrr, 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 the classic feedback. Yeah, feedback. I was like, is this on purpose? Wow, everyone's right. an asshole. Good morning. He drops his cards. He knocks over the mic stand. He's a mess. Mess. And then Phone. everyone starts Phone. filming Phone. him. After he starts fucking up, I'm like, at, so rude. At this but also, suicide assembly, like, I was just like, does no one have a heart? What is happening? Right. The parents are here. The dead kid's parents are sitting there, and he's fumbling and, like, clearly a mess, and everyone's just like, oh, let's film him doing nothing on oh stage, God. being a mess. Why? So Who's that watching that footage? Everyone that they would know to share it with is there physically present. They all saw it. So who are they sending this? Where are they know. running these photos? It's international press. Where are these photos going to run that are being snapped to this woman? I just don't remember seeing many strippers on Entertainment Tonight. Can we have one of you handing Crystal the flowers? And it's international press. Did you hear that woman's accent? So then he gives a speech that we don't hear because, in fact, nope. he sings a song. Uh, you will be fine. Yeah. So I can is only... the song what his speech is that was the that goes viral? I don't know. It would make more sense that a song would go if he broke into song. That makes more sense yep. than just here's a speech about how I see you and you're not lost, you're found. But then this montage about it going viral really made me. I mean, cackle. That lady, that one his lady who friend died. Like, um, You'll never guess what happened next. Right. <laughs> He's giving a speech about suicide. You'll never guess what happens next. And then that girl who looks like Melissa Villasenor, who's just like, oh my God. Oh my God. Like that was her response <laughs> to the sad speech about loneliness and depression. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was like, what is going on? This is pure madness. Oh my God. Everybody needs to see this. And then during the viral video, there's just like a, a jock sitting in his car alone and just going, 
I can't stop watching this video. I can't stop watching this video. 17 years old. He says it out loud. <laughs> I can't stop watching this. What? I can't stop watching this video. 17 years old. I was dying. It was so <laughs> funny. And then it's like, woo, love actually. Oh, Connor's face bomb. Wow. The insensitivity was... Insensitivity. Was, uh, whoa. Yeah. That was intense. Yeah. Oh, I just read my notes. I said he swallowed a pill off the public bathroom floor. Oh, yeah. No. Mm -mm. No. I do feel like that was a thing in the show that, like, he, like, stopped his meds or something. And okay. then you're like, well, maybe it is. Maybe it is in his head. More interesting. Honestly, sorry. I mean, so, give me something. I need something yeah. to hold on to because I don't know what's going on. And I don't really know what you want me to bafflingly like. shallow with some catchy tunes. That's uh, about it. I, I don't, I wouldn't even give him the catchy part, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't I, all I remember is knock, truck. Knock, knock, That's all I remember. Glass, truck. Waving through a window. Oh my God. All of his like answering the phone because the sun is shining and oh, the trees coming his... up from the ground. I was like, oh boy. Yeah, lots My of hammer. My heart is lots pounding of... from the love that I feel right now. Oh, boy. You pick a spot and shoot the breeze like buddies do. Did you laugh when yeah. you fell out of that tree? I did, but maybe I'm a sick person. <laughs> was, that is considering that he was, we find out later, attempting suicide? From like a six-foot tree? He said 30, but sure. Really? I must have missed that. At some point, he said I was 30 feet up. But yes, I mean, you know, that's high. I'm surprised that he did only break his arm then. But okay, well, I don't know. now I feel more like an asshole. It, the way it was shot, it looked like, it oh was no. Stupid. Plunk. I laughed. Well, and they fucking showed, if they showed him running down that well, boardwalk that was, oh, to that, that fucking just reminded tree me. one more time. Because that's what was so weird. So he's too old for the part, but he's yeah. acting younger than all of the teeth. Yes. He's acting like he's. 11. 12. Yeah. Right, right in there. Not 18. He's acting very right. young. So it seems yeah. even weirder. So when he's like running, like without abandon down that boardwalk, yeah. I'm like, yeah. is this the choice that he's making? Is he trying to compensate for how old he is by acting even younger? I didn't know what younger. that choice was, but it really threw off everything because it felt really weird and awkward. I agree. Yeah, it did. It felt like he was, yes, like a sixth grader. Yeah. And yet he and was they were all seniors. supposed to be 17 or 18, right? They graduate high school. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you'll be found. That's what they kept saying. You'll be found. Yeah. You'll be found. You will be found. Yeah. You'll be found. You will be found. And you will be found. And you will be found. And you will be found. What oh are God. we doing? When she yeah. sent that suicide note publicly to make her Kickstarter goal, I was like, well, now Alana's irredeemable. Like, honestly. Oh, yeah. The whole thing is icky. And I don't like it. And it is weird, too, where then he goes through this, like, redemption uh, where he tries to learn about who Connor was by reading the books that he said he liked. Oh, and boy. trying to talk to people that he knew. And I'm like, first of all, why wasn't this at least the first thing that he did right, right when he was like, oh, I need to know who this person was? No, I'm going to completely make up falsehoods and lies. At a certain point, I wrote, I think you could just get rid of all the songs and it wouldn't make a difference. I mean, I don't think it would. Although they did, they were sort of plot driving, but not really because they're all just platitudes. <laughs> not so really. it doesn't really matter. <sighs> you are not yeah. alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. Like just saying that you're not alone is, doesn't do anything. That doesn't mean anything. I think this is what, again, like the way that they treat especially Connor's like mental illness and, and suicide. Which, yeah. It's so frustrating where they're like, the family is like not grieving, like, especially the, the stepfather or whatever, the father and the sister right. are like, he was an asshole. Good riddance, essentially. Right. They're like, I we mean, don't, they have an entire song. I will have no requiem. Like I basically don't give a fuck about my dead brother because he was an asshole. And then later they're like, Oh wait, you told us all of these stories and he was a human being and he liked stuff and now it's great and now we're sad and I'm like, this is fucked. But then is they're not... like, oh, that was all a lie? I guess I hate him again? I don't, I don't, I don't. It's all so horrific, really. So then Alana posts the suicide note on Instagram, which is irredeemable. 
Yes. And somehow the internet turns on the family and is like, this is, okay, because you were asking. It doesn't make sense, but the movie claims that because the suicide note was to his friend and not his family, they're like, oh, his family must be awful. Oh. That was That's kind a of leap. it. And because they're asking for money via this Kickstarter, but they're rich, they're like, why didn't they just fucking pay for this fucking orchard? Who gives a shit? And I, on some level, I was like, I mean, the dad could kind of like bump them over the edge if that was really necessary for the... Again, what are they doing to sure. the orchard? I don't know. But and like, what does what... it all matter? And like, the parents weren't asking for it. And like, that's what I was just so confused about. Like, nothing changed from the intent <laughs> and purpose of the Kickstarter just by posting that letter. Like, that had nothing to do with the parents. Oh, no. So... The fact that everyone in this small just, town suddenly was just like, oh, like, <sighs> let's shun them. I want to talk about the scene where Julianne Moore comes over to their house for dinner because he's been lying to her that he's been going over there at all and that he knows. I guess, He's, yeah. been, he's lying to everybody, right? Sure. But at some point, I, either Julianne Moore or Amy Adams, one of the surrogate moms, or the mom of the surrogate mom, she goes, oh, well, Evan's a great writer. And I was like... Have we seen evidence of this in any way, shape, or form whatsoever? What? Yeah, you... his fake emails that they fell for. But they don't... Well, I guess... So they. So she read those fake emails between the son and Evan, and the voices were so different that she really thought Evan's half of those emails were, he's a great writer? Like, that's where that... That's... No, it was, it was Julianne Moore, his actual mother, was saying, oh, he's a great writer, and that's why I want him to apply for these essays to get grants for yeah. college. But have we um, seen that as a goal of no. his or represented in no. any way or that he no. doesn't have confidence but man he writes all the time at least he's writing in his journal no. all the nothing there was nothing in no. the movie his character is empty it's bafflingly shallow i think that is really the best way it's just like why is there nothing here and if the orchard is just an empty promise all of those people will know that connor was right if the orchard is an empty promise, then everyone will know we're frauds. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Yeah. Oh. Yep. I see. You don't want that to... Oh, okay. If I were his best friend, I would be doing everything I could to make sure his dream of rebuilding the orchard came true. Look, it's terrible that people aren't giving as much money as we hoped they would, but it's not like it's him. You know what I mean? It's, it's just... It's an orchard. I did really, really enjoy the interchange when Connor's trying to apologize to Zoe again, and he was like, what I did was the worst thing that anyone could do. And then Zoe just nods in agreement, like, yeah. That's the worst thing anyone can do? Mm-hmm. Oh, that was, was that an apology? That was just a statement of facts. Oh, okay, great. So yeah, um, not good. Nope. I don't really think there's anything I liked about it. I'm sorry. Um, nope. Julianne Moore's hair. It's shocking to me. Oh, sure. Amy Adams' hair. Lovely. You know, it's always looking yeah. fresh. I thought both of their performances for were good. Were their characters good? No. You know, like, whatever, right. all of that aside. You know, I, I did think that their performances were perfectly serviceable. Was it anything noteworthy? No, but that's fine. Yeah, no, I, I can't really recommend pretty much anything about this, this movie or the show. And it's um, long. Yeah. On top of everything I think, else. Too long. Too long. I think Pasek and Paul is an automatic no-go for me. Moving yeah. forward, yeah. anything they do, I, I'm just avoiding it. I don't care for it. We did not talk about the Mark Platt of it all, but maybe we don't care. I mean, what does that even mean? You're just that he's like nepotismly putting his son in when he didn't belong there? Yeah, I mean, you know. just I'll just nod in agreement like Zoe because you've stated a fact. Mm, yes. Yeah. That's the worst thing anyone can do. And to yeah. be honest, I don't know how much I even blame him for taking the role. Should he have known better? Probably. Should he have had people, including his own father, tell him, I don't think this is a good idea? Yeah. You know, like, yes. Or and so, completely update the show, make it in college, and, you know, rewrite some of the no homo stuff, get no, rid of... No, that's just a different... Evil, that's just an entire... Just scrap it. Just scrap you know it. The I story think doesn't need to be told because there the is stage. no story. It's... Leave it on the stage. Leave it in the past. Let's move on. I never yeah. want to watch it again. Oh. Ever again. Well, um, cheers, Evan Hansen. I don't know. What's like a sincerely, sincerely movie, bitches? Sincerely me. Sincerely me. <laughs> I 
Fucketh, fucketh thou movie. What was it? Fucketh thou movie? Yes, fuckest thou movie. Ugh, awful. Ugh. Oh my god. Everybody needs to see this. I can't stop watching this video. 17 years old. You 